Hey everybody, welcome back to Catholic NYC Presents. I'm Colin Acasa. Before anything else, please join me in a prayer in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Uh, welcome back to the Catholic NYC Presents. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you were able to enjoy this beautiful day out there. Uh, before we bring in our musician, I just wanted to share a little bit more about Divine Mercy. And this is coming from the diary that St. Faustina wrote with the revelations that Jesus was revealing to her about his divine mercy. And this is what Jesus himself has to say about his divine mercy. He says, proclaim that my mercy is the greatest attribute of God. All the works of my hands are crowned with mercy. I love that reality that his greatest attribute is his mercy. He says, I'm giving mankind the last hope of salvation that is recourse to my mercy. He says, my daughter, do you think you have written enough about my mercy? What you have written is but a drop compared to the ocean. I am love and mercy itself. I just always encourage you to remember that, that God, his love and mercy itself, he says. And then lastly, he says, before I made the world, I loved you with the love that your heart is experiencing today and throughout the centuries. My love will never change. This is before I made the world, because we have to remember, guys, and I've said this so many times on this show and in other talks, that God sees the past, the present, and the future as one present moment. Everything that's happening right now, everything you're going through, everything I'm going through, everything the world's going through, he knew it was going to happen. My love will never change. change. Before I made the world, just and so just keep in mind that he's got a plan. He's not surprised by any of this. And so I really encourage you to remember that, have that, that enter deep into your heart. As we bring in our musician, I welcome John Paul Van Arks. Van Arks, he's coming in from Steubenville. He's a fantastic musician, very anointed. So I just ask you to really open up your heart to all that God wants to share with you through his music. And John Paul, thank you so much for being and welcome on the show. Oh, there we go. Thank you so much, Colin. It's so good to be here um, with you guys back in New York. Um, uh, I'm, I'm absolutely just, uh, I love you guys in, in New York City. I'm, I'm so happy to be at least um, with you guys uh, virtually. I was going to be in the city for the fifth time um, a couple weeks ago this this year already. Um, so I make, make it out to your guys' neck of the woods pretty often. So I'm just so happy to uh, uh, to be able to, to be with you guys here tonight. You guys are near and dear to my heart. So, um, so uh, one of the things that... Um, maybe uh, in, in different worlds, you know, I do a lot of, a lot of worship events. Um, and then I also, um, you know, actually I'm branded as a full-time country music artist. So I play a lot in uh, the country music world and, uh, and that's really um, something I, I love so much. So a lot of my original songs um, are country music. So if it's all right with you guys, I'm going to start out with just some fun, uh, like a fun song um, that's uh, country music. And uh, I wrote it, it's called the cell phone blues. And uh, it kind of showcases my love for playing guitar um, ever since I was, you know, 10 years old, I just wanted to be able to play guitar like, like Brad Paisley. And I just, I love that music just on such a, just a natural level. And so I wrote this song and it's kind of a, it's funny too, because it kind of shows that love hate relationship with having a smartphone and always being like so plugged in. So I hope that maybe in a time when that's really all we have to connect, it is, it's a, it's awesome. It's a blessing to have our phones and our technology, but it only goes so far and we just, we miss people. So and when all this is over, I hope we have a chance to detach. So cell phone blues to all y'all. Thank you. Woke up this morning, all ringing in my head. There's no distractions to keep me in my bed. Just drunk up coffee and I'm all set. I'm so alive. My phone is dead. The sun is shining. I've got to go. I can't wait to dust off my fishing pole. My boss is calling, but here's the catch. The fish are biting and my phone is dead. And now I'm driving without a GPS. I'll be lucky if I'm lost until sunset. And where to be, and got no regrets. I'm so alive, my phone is dead. Here we go. I'm out of storage, my cooler's full 
There's no Facebook or Instagram to scroll. Take a selfie, but then again, I'm so alive. You know, almost there. Just remember, but she can wait. Yeah, my mother in law was supposed to call today. She'll get my voicemail and I can live with that. I'm so alive. Yeah, sorry, I think we lost him. We're going to try to get him back. We're just going to try to get him back online right now. Hey, is it in? okay, you're back. Keep going. All right, all right. I'm sorry. So I think we stopped at the bridge. Let me stop that again. Well, I don't need Verizon or at and Limit sunshine is covering me. Ain't no loss of signal will be hindering this message that I want to say. Now I'm driving without a GPS. I'll be lucky if I'm lost until sunset. You would be got no regrets. I'm so alive on this day. I thought I'd die on my bed. I'm so alive on this day. <laughs> Cell phone blues, everybody. <laughs> is it coming in loud and clear? Can you guys hear me? I just want to make sure. Colin, is it, it sounding good? All right, good. I got the thumbs up. So, um, uh, like uh, like Colin mentioned, I actually am. Um, I live in Steubenville, Ohio now. I'm originally from Rockford, Illinois, um, and uh, but uh, I travel uh, full time and and uh, do do a lot of music events, and I'm so grateful for that. There's so um, there's so few people I think that uh, get to get to do what I do, and I'm really really grateful for that. And I think even more grateful right now that we can't have gatherings of people. Um, I realize like how I'm not grateful that we can't have gatherings of people. I'm grateful for what I do in light of not being able to do it currently. So. Um, you know, I just want to thank everyone um, out there for uh, supporting um, musicians like myself through these virtual events. And I'd like to thank Colin and everyone in the Archdiocese for, for uh, inviting me to come on. So I actually, I have a special song I'd like to share with you guys. Um, and I wrote it actually in Brooklyn in January. And uh, it's called The Rush. And 
I think it was, it's kind of funny. It's, 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 it's probably one of my favorite songs I've written and it was just um, being caught up in the rush of daily life. You know, I think it's so easy um, no matter where you live um, this day and age to feel very pulled in many different directions and not have uh, the time to really reflect and uh, recollect ourselves and, and think about what really matters and like the things that are really important to us, you know, when all is said and done, it's just so easy to, to just get caught up in, in, in life and the flow. So um, anyway, I wrote this song, it's called The Rush and, um, and just uh, wrote it in Brooklyn. So I just wanna thank you all um, for, for hosting me in January, so. These times are different now. Memories don't erase. Grandpa, tell me once again about simple days. You remember when nobody ever rushed, nobody ever shut. Yes, ma'am, and thank you, sir. Were common words you hear. People greeting on the street. Friends and family always be. Was the only thing you had when life's stood on the gates. Oh, look around at just how far we've come. Everybody's in a rush. In my mind, why are you looking sad? You've got so many years to go, don't keep looking back. In my mind, I want new memories with you now. With some of your years to really help to slow us down. Because everybody's in a rush. Everybody tries to show. Take your time, it's just stay friends. Even kids live fast these days. Where's the laughter that you knew? Life is simple in your you. What has changed in these quick years? Looking back now, I do feel that we haven't gone nearly far enough. Cause everybody's in a rush. Place. I saw the poor man on the street, but kept walking away. Conscience, memory haunts my soul. This human life has a great to be seen and to be known. But I'm addicted to the rush, and I'm guilty of that show. Don't always see people. As worthy of my time, but not getting too much done. Excuses like my 401 have held me back from slowing down, but soon I'll be laying in the ground. But I hope by then I'll have learned just how to love. Cause eternity has no place for the rush, and everybody's in a rush. Everybody's scared to love. What if the cycle keeps on turning? What are our children learning? Everybody holds some pain. And everybody needs some place. Inside someone who is choosing to walk the walk and does by doing. Oh, who can comprehend just how to love? When we all hide behind the light that is the rush.
brand new music. Um, thank you for letting me play uh, play that song. It's it's especially near and dear because it's a new song. I think as an artist, um, if any of you are artists out there, you'll know that as soon as you, you paint something or write something, you know, you have a tendency to, to get tired of it and move on. But the song, I don't know, there's something about it like that. We, we can't really rush like we used to right now. And so it seemed timely that um, this song just kind of flowed. I remember I was I was sitting um, at Father John Madary's parish at Most Precious Blood in Brooklyn. I was hanging out with him and Father Frank Black, and uh, um, like I do multiple times a year. And um, and uh, I just remember that song just flowed out in like 20 minutes. So, um, but it's just one of those things too, where I I, I find in myself, you know, I go from grandpa to mom to myself, like just through the generations. Like like it's almost that moment, you know, like where where did we start to rush? Where do we go wrong? Where do we stop prioritizing the things that we need to prioritize? And especially to, to a faithful audience, like, um, you know, I, I think that way with my, my prayer life, you know, like, I think it's un, undisputed that prayer is important and, and like heartfelt prayer where you're engaged um, and you're really listening to what God is saying and moving the Holy Spirit's moving in your life. But um, that's such a difficult thing. You know, we go through our phases. It's such a difficult thing to maintain consistently, but my life, is always so much richer. I'm always so much more peaceful and I'm always so much more joyful and more tolerable to be around <laughs> when, I, when I make time for that, that prayer, you know, like a heartfelt prayer, you know, not, not just um, the quantity necessarily, you know, I think it's, it's important to, to work up to really consistent, um, you know, day in and day out prayer, um, you know, but start, start small. If anyone's just struggling with that or doesn't know where to start or knows they need to to be called on, like, uh, let this be that moment. Say, yeah, I've been rushing, you know? And, and I wrote the song and, and this came from me. So it's not like I'm talking to at you guys or something or this, like, that's me. I'm I like that. That says in the verses, like I'm addicted to the rush. I love being busy. I love being able, you know, to tell someone when they say like, how are you doing? And I'm like, Oh, I'm really busy. I love being able to say that because, um, it, it's exciting. It's, it's fun. And it, it's something that people might admire in our culture, you know, to be busy, to have stuff exciting going on, but that's not always, uh, um, that's not always a good indication that, you know, our souls and our hearts are in the right place. So, um, you know, that song is just very near and dear. And I just give it out to all y'all in New York, um, especially who have been hit so hard, uh, by COVID-19. Um, so you guys have been in our prayers and, uh, uh, it's really, it's really difficult to understand um, all that you guys are going through being in the Midwest. Um, but uh, please know of our, our prayers and support for you guys. So um, that being said, before um, I start going a little bit more uh, into the prayer aspect of this, I just want to play one more song to kind of segue. And it's called Autumn Rain. And I wrote this song uh, right before, I wrote this in Assisi, uh, Italy. Um, I was doing worship for a pilgrimage through Franciscan University. And uh, um, I was just prepping though. I was in Italy and I was going to go straight to Lourdes. Uh, in France, and then I walked the Camino for 500 miles. So uh, it was just me with a little guitar, and uh, this is the, one of the songs that came out of that that experience. Um, and I was just in a place in my life where I had uh, just lost a brother um, in a hiking accident, and I just needed some time away from all my travels. And uh, um, so it was over the year anniversary of, of his passing, and I just needed to um, needed to take take a step back to to not rush because that's my default. I just rush when things get um, too hard to take. I just, I, I busy myself, busy my mind, but, um, I think it was, it was beautiful. It worked out for me to go to Spain and, uh, walk across, uh, the Northern part of Spain. And that's a, it's a pilgrimage that Catholics and Christians have been doing for 1200 years. So it was really amazing to, to know that everyone here is, is searching for something or, um, has been called here for a specific reason. And it was awesome to be there and realize like, I'm, I'm walking the same, same route that many Christians for pretty much similar um, or comparable reasons have walked for 1200 years. It was, it was absolutely incredible. So I encourage anyone that has a desire to do that kind of hike. Um, it's really a beautiful experience. So autumn rain, everybody. You're falling through the sky. You shine in storm clouds. I and you make up the lakes. Love on cold fall nights. You recycle all your life and promise pray for you each night. And I'm walking through the valleys just to find autumn rain, autumn rain. Can my body turn this pain into wisdom to help some other lonely soul? I want to live for more than me and I'm dying to be free. And I know that you can help me, Autumn. 
song so i'm gonna segue a little bit now um this is an, it's still an original song but um i wrote it about one of the most influential people in my life um and that's my 11 year old brother or actually he's 12 now but um sam uh has down syndrome and uh there's something so incredibly uh beautiful about his life you know um and uh you know i think you know I, just in the midst of the the, the pandemic we've we're, we're, we're all suffering through and uh in so many ways, um, you, you know, there's so much anxiety, there's so much fear, and you go online, and people are just back and forth, everyone has different opinions on where they, they stand with it, but could you imagine for a second, like, um, how, how really incredible it would be just for a second to, to, to be like Sam, he, he's incapable of uh, being worked up or anxious over this, you know, he takes reality as it is, and he accepts it, and the beautiful thing about that is it's like, in a sense, he lives the Christian faith, better than anybody I've ever met. And he does it without any effort. And this is someone that has um, a mental handicap. You know what I mean? Like he, he literally, you know, he, he has, he has down syndrome. And that's something that's looked down upon by so many people in our culture, but then, but look, look at where the, the value of his life isn't necessarily in his ability to um, amass a lot of money, to win a Nobel prize for a math equation or something, or, you know, those things that we so hold up um, on such a pedestal. That's not where his value lies. And I suggest that his value lies um, just in how he loves, you know, and then that caused me to consider that's exactly what, what Jesus says in the gospels to us, you know, and um, if you, you can do all these things, but if you have not love, you're, you know, a, a noisy gong, a clinging sh symbol, you're literally obnoxious to, to, to the heart of, heart of God, you know, if, if you don't love, if you know every, every letter of the law that all the truth that the world, the church, anybody has to offer you, you know, but you, but you don't have love, you know, you're missing the point. And I'm not negating the truth or anything like that, but it's a both and, and that's always, that's why Christianity is so hard is that we can know what's right, but then we actually have to live it. And my little brother, Sam, who's 11 and he has Down syndrome, does that better than anybody I've ever met. 
and he does it effortlessly and it, it it's it, it bothers me because <laughs> it's like I try so hard you know but it's and it's not it doesn't it doesn't actually bother me but it's 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 so beautiful you know I, I'm so inspired by his life so I wrote the song and it's called he's different um and uh because um you know before he was born I would see people with special needs and I would see them for maybe the noises they make or uh maybe like they would be a little disruptive in church or social gatherings or they wear their diagnosis on their face with down syndrome um and so it's easy for um for for me i just you know didn't know how to treat them so i kind of hold them at arm's length but that was i was the one that was missing out so i wrote the song he's different uh, because uh yes he's different and i wish i was i was more different like him in so many ways that she was pregnant with him she in my death worried because the new life inside was different nine months later when i was at school my brother was born and i got the news the night when i held the very first time he was different. Oh, he's different. Different than me. Oh, he's peaceful. Peaceful and free. And different than who I thought he would be. That night I learned that my brother was more than he seemed. He may not ever be at the top of his class. But as he grows up, he may not be fast, but he'll take his sweet time, enjoy his whole life, and that's it. People first see that they stop and stare. I'll take the time to acknowledge he's there. But he doesn't ever see them any different. Oh, he's different. Different than me. Oh, he's peaceful. Peaceful and free. A heart like his helps mine to believe the little things matter in life more than we see. Oh, the speed of the hours, the clock's always ticking, my desk's always full, my phone's always ringing. The more I go through life at this speed, I'm thankful that my little brother is different than me. Oh, he's different, different than me. Oh, he's peaceful. And I Uh, that's about Sam, my brother. Um, and, uh, I think, uh, there's something so sweet about, you can, you can, you know, that song is, um, just from my perspective as a brother, uh, to my brother, to other people, you know, because, um, uh, he was born when I was a freshman in high school and, uh, I had time to kind of bridge that gap, um, with him in my life. Like I was old enough where I had kind of an impression of what people with special needs were like, or, um, and it was a misconception in so many ways. And after he was born, it just completely 
uh, redirected how I see um, people with special needs. And I'm so grateful for his life. He teaches me so much. So the value of his life is so, is so incredibly beautiful. And it's all about that, the dignity of the human person, you know, that John Paul II talked about so much. Um, you know, it, it's just, I see it in spades with my brother. So I'm grateful for him. And uh, fun fact with that song, I actually um, did a music video for that song uh, with Sam and we were gonna release it um, uh, right the week that everything happened with the pandemic. Um, even Fox News um, in New York City, we were, Sam and I were gonna be there right in Manhattan. They, uh, they wanted to debut it on national television with Fox and Friends. And, um, but uh, we weren't able to do that because of uh, travels and uh, postponing the release date. So um, that's something to watch out for because we'll, we'll be coming your way to uh, release it. So I'm really excited about that. Um, not just for the exposure um, it will get, which is, which is incredible, but really just for the opportunity for people to experience, you know, my, my brother and, and just how he's touched me. And I'm, I'm so grateful to, to just to be able to share that with people. And there's so many families um, that are affected, um, affected positively by people with special needs and just to share the goodness of their life. So um, there's that. Um, and I think I've, I've got uh, time for maybe one, one or two more. Colin, does this sound good? All right, awesome. So I'm gonna play a song called Breakthrough. And um, this song, as I alluded to earlier, is uh, I, I did lose a brother. It's a different brother than Sam, uh, but he was uh, a freshman at Franciscan University. And um, uh, just on his fall break, you know, he passed away tragically. And that was a really rough time um, for my family and for myself. So, um, you know, I just realized since the time of, of his passing, which has been almost three years now, that, uh, you know, it, everybody, everybody experiences suffering and, and pain, you know, and I think that, um, especially Americans, we have so many distractions, we have so many coping mechanisms right at our fingertips. And we're so good at um, trying to avoid any pain and suffering or inconvenience even. And, um, but the fact of the matter is everybody goes through a lot of stuff and whether or not it's something that anybody else knows about or um, something that maybe you don't even understand, uh, we all have things that we're, we're, we're suffering. You know, um, you know, someone told me, I forgot who it was, but in the last what year they said, you know, behind every person is a story that if you knew it would cause you to weep, you know, and that's something that I think is just like that. That's beautiful. You know, I, I think that, um, you know, everyone's like, how are you? Good. I'm doing well, you know, but if, if you really, if you really see, you know, no, no one really understands the depths of, of each person's heart, except for, for God. And that's why I am so, so committed to my faith and, uh, and love love being Catholic, love being Christian is because of that, you know, is that um, I'm not alone in those moments, you know, in moments where it really, I was just the weakest and, um, you know, just my, my, my little brother just passed away um, in, in a tragic way. Um, you know, I didn't, I didn't have anything else at that point that, that could console me in a sense. So um, I just, I just know that God is faithful and I've experienced his kindness in so many ways. So I just want that to be an encouragement to everyone out there that maybe is struggling or maybe struggling with the faith in general. Um, just keep at it. God is faithful. You know, so this song goes out to you if, if you're struggling today, especially anyone in New York um, that has been affected or maybe has lost someone uh, recently. This song is called Breakthrough and it's just an honest prayer, um, just an unassuming, honest prayer from the heart. And uh, I invite you to, to make, make it, you know, uh, if, if that's something that you're able to do tonight, if that's what you need. And, um, and if, if, if you put that off in any way, um, please consider this an invitation. You know, uh, there's, there's no other way. There's no other way. There's a ache in my heart. There's a longing to be understood. Why is it hard to find peace of mind? Why is it hard to choose the good? Is your yoke really easy? Because the burden seems hard to bear. But I'm not giving up on you. Faith tells me over there. So break through to me, break through to me. I want to know what you want me to do. Speak truth to me, speak truth in a way that I can understand. I want to know your plan, because I am just one man. 
name, and I don't know where I stand with you. So break Thank you for letting me share that song. Um, and it uh, just goes out to anyone that's experiencing a little bit of pain right now. And maybe I can just, or Colin, we're kind of running up on time, I suppose, a little bit. So we can maybe do a closing prayer. I have another song that could be worship as well. Um, let's do that one. Okay, great. That sounds awesome. So uh, this song, uh, just as a meditation, especially coming out of the Easter season. Um, uh, you know, this song is, is more a song maybe for Good Friday, but I think it's ever pertinent. You know, I think it's, we've always need, are in need of that perpetual uh, message of, uh, to repent, to repent and believe and just to focus on that. So uh, this song is just a meditation song. Uh, so we can all just pray with this for a moment. Look to me, hear my voice. Taste and see, lock out the noise, lift your hands, surrender your heart, breathe me in, I know who you are. And it's all because I love you, it's all the reason why I hung upon that cross and saw my mother cry. It's all because you were there, any amount of pain, for you to know I chose you and call you by your name. My voice, taste and see, lock out the noise, lift your hands, surrender your heart, breathe me in, know who you are. And it's all because I love you. Yes, you're the reason why I 
He hung upon the cross and saw my mother cry. It's all because you were there. Pain me and my pain. But you didn't know I chose you. And call you by your name. And it's all because I love you. Yes, you're the reason why. Oh, upon that cross, I saw my mother cry. It's all because you're worth it. Any amount of pain. For you to know I chose you. And call you by your name. Call you by your name. You're not alone. You're not alone. I call you by your name. I call you by your name. God bless you all. Um, I'll just please be uh, very much encouraged that uh, you are truly not alone. Um, if we think of our, our Lord as, as being different, uh, as being distant, especially in times like this, um, it's, uh, it's definitely not true. Um, despite maybe our feelings, uh, you know, we know that uh, he, he came down from heaven and, and he lived uh, among us, you know, uh, Jesus Christ. And, and, and he allowed himself to experience everything that we could experience, you know, the good things, um, and also the hard things. And he was betrayed by his friends um, and uh, he was scorned in the public place. Um, and he was ultimately put to death um, out of love for us while we were yet sinners, you know, and that's a beautiful thing. Um, and so we are not alone. He came down. He knows what it's like. And uh, it says in the catechism in the fourth pillar, you know, Christ love, uh, Christ loves us with a human heart. And that's a, that's a beautiful, beautiful um, just image. So know that you're truly not alone. Uh, so um, I love you guys, and I'm praying for you. Please pray for me. And I'd like to thank the Archdiocese and Colin and everybody there, Christy and, uh, and, and Luigi and everybody that's been so kind. And uh, thank you for, 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 um, for, for having me be a part of your, uh, your, your virtual event tonight. Back to you, Colin. Thank you. John Paul, thank you very much for sharing your story. Thanks for sharing the gift of music with us. Please be assured of our prayers uh, for you and your family. Everybody, thanks for joining. Uh, this was Catholic NYC Presents. Be sure to check out the Catholic NYC YouTube channel. So it's Catholic NYC Presents on YouTube. We'll download this episode and you can see all the past episodes. Uh, we, this was our 24th, I believe. And also tomorrow night, we'll have our virtual young adult mass. We'll have Father John Baptiste from St. Joseph's in Greenwich Village. He's also the chaplain at NYU. He'll be celebrating our mass virtually tomorrow. And uh, please, God, I hope we'll be able to see you guys again, hopefully the month after at St. Patrick's Cathedral. So we'll just keep all that in prayer. And also, please join us on Thursday. We'll have his, his eminence, Cardinal Timothy Dolan, is going to be on the show. He's going to give a talk on Our Lady, and there'll be an opportunity for some question and answer as well. Uh, but guys, be assured of our prayers. We love you. And why don't we just end in a Hail Mary. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And just to echo John Paul's words, you are not alone. Jesus and Mary are very close, uh, so stay close to them. Everybody, thanks so much for watching. God bless. God bless.